All right, welcome back. Continuing on with more loyalty quests. Just like Morden and Grunt, who, whose both missions took place on one single location for the most part, uh, Thane and Garrus both have loyalty quests that take place on the Citadel, so we're going to knock both of those out. Shepard. Is there something wrong? Yes. Now that you are here, though, it seems more difficult to talk about. I've got time. Take it at your own pace. Thank you. I fear I've already done that for too long. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. You never mentioned this before. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I attended to that issue. I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles. I have not seen him or talked to him since. If we're talking about this, he must have contacted you. No, he didn't. But my condition... I've been judging my life, measuring what I've added and what I've taken away. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become disconnected. He does what his body wills. You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self. The soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured, the individual is disconnected. No longer whole. Where has Kolyat's body willed him? To the Citadel. I don't know where exactly. I only know that he traveled there and has contacted the criminal element of the station. He's been hired to kill a man. I would like your help to stop it. Thane, I don't have your contacts, and I don't have your tracking skills. Why do you need my help for this? I don't need your help. I want it. The last time I saw my son, they grabbed her body and sea on it. Waited it with stones. He tries to pull from me. Call for her. The hammer lift her off the platform. They sing like bells. The fire has gone to be kindled in you. He begs them not to take her away. They let her body slide into the water. He hits me. Don't let them. Stop them. Why weren't you? It rains. It always rains on Kaje. Warm water pours down his face. Okay, thank you for whatever that was. I didn't mean to make you relive that. Perfect memory. It is sometimes a burden. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. No, what that is, is that Drell can relive um, pretty much every moment of their lives in perfect clarity. They can pull perfect memories from, the, from their minds about pretty much everything. Weren't you originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the Collectors right now. See where our good old buddy Garrus is doing. Still doing some calibrations. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel named Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Alright, so now we have our two quests. Once again, I really do find it very hard to believe that every single teammate suddenly has a problem pop up that they need Shepard's help with. That seemed very convenient. That just... Uh, I just can't get over that one. But 
that's the game, I suppose. Miranda wants to see you, Commander. Tell her to get in line. I decided which one of the two I'm going to focus on first. Uh, let's see. Yeah, probably Garrus, I guess. Why not? I like Garrus. He's a really good character, but seems like he has remarkably little to say in this game. Switch Garrus to his new outfit, the one that's got the what look like beer straws on it. his problem. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Yeah, you know, for some reason, um, if you try to open that door too quickly, you end up having to stand there for a really long time, but if you stand there for a few seconds before you try to open the door, usually it'll just open right up. I don't know, I guess it's kind of glitch or something. Fun and exchange now. Go pick up a new army jet for here. Here we go. Fade? You're not quite how I imagined you. Looks can be deceiving. So, which one of you wants to disappear? I'd rather see you make someone reappear. Ah, uh, that's not the service we provide. Make an exception. Just this once. Damn it. Quick, <laughs> shoot them. Shoot them. Too slow. Why do I even bother? We need to find a client of yours. I suggest you cooperate. Wait. I'm not the one you want to talk to. I'm not Fade. I knew it. Well, then maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. Yes, of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab foundry. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue Suns. Harkin thinks they're protecting him. Huh. Harkin. How the hell did Harkin end up being the Fade? Well, he got fired from CSEC a while back. He used his knowledge of CSEC and their systems to help a few people disappear. Then he made himself disappear, and Fade was born. So to speak. Interesting. 
But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. I'm looking forward to seeing Harkin again. I'm sure he'll be excited to see both of us. We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. So I, uh... I can go? Sure, but if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. Oh, good. <laughs> It took me a long time to get this refund. It's a decision. I felt her hand go into my pocket. When I checked, my credit chip was gone. The factory district. Fortunately, in Mass Effect 2, travel on the Citadel is pretty limited compared to the first game. Only a few areas are open. As a matter of fact, I don't think there's any main storyline requirement to even come here. If you don't want to, I mean that the meeting with Anderson and the council is totally optional. And of course all these loyalty missions are totally optional too. Let's see. Let's go ahead and keep him just so I don't have to switch him out later. since I shot mercenaries, right? Because of shot. I was just getting used to not shooting mercenaries. Wow. Ready. Right. Come on, I shoot go I shoot Krogan mercenaries, I shoot yellow mercenaries, I shoot blue mercenaries. Seriously. This is 90% of the game right here. Half the time, I forget the collectors are supposed to be the main objective here. Shooting at mercenaries got really boring about uh, 10,000 bullets back.
Somehow I doubt it. Honestly, you think by this point Shepard would have totally depleted a mercenary company. As we private army instead of mercenary bands. Eesh. How many mercenaries can you kill in one game? Thing. When you stand up in the middle of a giant robot shooting at you, that's what tends to happen. <laughs> I'm not helping you up. You're supposed to be a great assassin? That wasn't very impressive. Well, anyway, I think I've done more than enough here. I will catch you guys in the next part. See ya.